I just wonder um, how you really feel about Knox's link to the Isle of Man and the influence of Knox through your work and what it's like revisiting some, a project that he um, completed so many years ago. It's, it's daunting. I mean, I tried not to get too involved um, with what Knox had actually done with the Deer's Crown because I would get phased and um, blown away by it because his was 20 years' work and this was two months. Um, so that, and I have renewed respect for, I always had huge respect for him, but looking at the intricacy of his work and the fact that there's just, there's just no mistakes and that is amazing, but also the meditative nature of it, you look at it and your your, your eyes just go round and round and round and you, know, you, it, you feel that he was very connected to the island in a very deep spiritual manner and that's really what has informed his, his work. Um, and you know, I, I look forward to studying it more to actually get those feelings. I, I was, yeah, I, I think I need to study it more as well to kind of get out of it. I was just amazed by his colours, amazed by his line. And with this, the spirituality stuff I've been looking at, you know, I think he was a mystic as well, really. You know, I get that feeling more and more about him. I'm very protective of that as well. You know, I think the fact that he burned so much is. You know, he wanted people to see what he was happy for them to see and kept a lot quiet, mm -hmm. which I can understand. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, amazing man, really. And yeah, and, and, and when I started studying um, Archibald Knox's work, it was very much from the Glenn, not Glenn Tilbrook, the Adrian Tilbrook book. And, you know, and it was very much looking at the, uh, the patterns and the lines and the small elements and not really getting the big picture. And, I, and it was interesting, actually, because I have to admit, I did react against the, the huge analysis of Knox. I thought, I wouldn't want that to happen to me. And then I recently read Stephen Martin's Jungian analysis of him in, in um, his big book. I thought, oh, yes, that's interesting, because you can, you know, you, you, it's almost like you have to have the knowledge to be able to understand what's being written mm -hmm. instead of getting frustrated by it. And, you know, oops. You know it, it, I'm sure I'll, more will come. As I'm learning more, I'll, I'll understand more as well. I think it's very important that you have revisited this idea of Knox in yeah. the 150th anniversary Absolutely. of his birth. Yeah. And yeah. it's great to see a contemporary artist working on the same sort of themes as him. Yeah. Yes, no, it's great. And what, I love his organic line. You know, it's the, the, the flowing nature of it because a lot of Celtic knot work is, is really quite rigid. Um, and I'm sort of also looking forward to doing a schools project, to, to learning how to teach the, the flowing line in a, in a, in a different way to, to make it more accessible to children. So, yeah, that's, that's great. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs>